Animated logo is a popular asset of marketing and brand identity. Motion designers turn static logos into something new and unique and today many brands continue sharing their animated version of the logos with the world. Keeping that in mind, today we will try to create a very elegant and professional looking logo animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this main as this is going to be our main comp. 1920 into 1080. Let's make this 30 or 60 FPS. And I'll keep the composition 10 seconds long and hit OK. Then you can hit Ctrl Y on the keyboard to create a new solid. I'll call this BG for background and give it a nice color. Maybe something like a blue, the same one that I used in the example. All right, that is looking good. Let's select the ellipse tool and we don't need any strokes. So I'm going to set this to zero. We just need the fill. Keep it white for now and double click to create a circle. Then go into ellipse one, ellipse path one. Hold Alt and double click on the link property to keep it or make it a perfect circle. And I'll keep it maybe around 600. That is a bit too small, but we can adjust the scaling. So I'll just keep it at 600. And then what I can do is let's add a fill on this. Give it the same color as the blue that we have. I'll call this C underscore O1 for circle O1. And then I can select it, hit S to bring down the scale properties. I'll increase the scaling to somewhere around maybe there. Let's keep it 270 and then I can select the layer, right click, go into the layer styles and add an inner shadow. I'll hit control shift H so that we can hide the control layers and just see the shadow. Then I'll, inc then I'll increase the size to around 200 and add some noise so that we don't get any kind of color bending. So I'll add maybe. 2% of noise. Also make sure you're working on the 16 bits per channel. You can just hold alt and click on this icon to switch from 8 bit to 16 bits. And then we can play around with the distance. So I can increase this a bit. I'll keep it around. Let's keep it around 80. That looks good. And then what I can do is I can again go into the layer style. Select the layer, go into layer styles and add a bevel and emboss. Now into the bevel and emboss, I can just rotate the angle to a different angle. So I'll keep it somewhere around there and bring down the size to around two. Or oh, I think two is a bit too much. So I'll keep it around one. That looks good. Maybe very minimal, like 0.1 or something like that. Okay, that is looking great. You can also change the color if you want to. So I'm going to keep it a bit darker white or maybe gray color. So that is looking good. Let's select the layer, hit Control D to duplicate it, hit S to bring down the scale properties and let's bring this down just like so. Let's hit Control D again, hit S and bring this down again. Okay, let's adjust this one. And there we go. That is looking pretty great. Let's create a new composition for our logo. So I'll call this logo where we can drag and drop in our logo. I'll keep it 300 by 300 pixels. Hit OK and then you can drag and drop in any logo that you have. I'm going to use this one from the example. I'll add a fill on this and make it white. Go into main comp, drag and drop the logo composition. And then I can select the third circle. So I can just turn on the control layers. Hit control D to duplicate it and call this M for matte and use this as a track mat. So I'll change the fill to white and change the track mat option of our logo. So hit F4 so we can see the track mat option and change the track mat to Luma matte. 
So now we can easily animate our logo coming through or inside from inside of the circle. So I'll go to around. First of all, let's actually animate our circle. So I'll align the logo into the center and let's animate our circle. So I'll go to around one second. Select all the three layers, hit S to bring down the scale properties, create a keyframe, go back in time and set them to zero. Then select all the keyframes, hit F9 to ease the keyframes, go into the graph editor and right click and select edit speed graph. Select the point and drag the handle to the right, to the left actually. Just like so. So now we have a pretty simple animation. Now we can go ahead and displace them a bit in time. So around I'll go with maybe 15 frames. Just like so. So now we have a pretty simple animation as you can see. Okay, that is looking good. Now we can go ahead and animate our logo. Now one thing that I did wrong is after the animation, I need to create the mat. So I can delete the mat, select this layer, hit control D, put this on the top, call this M for mat and hide this. Okay, that is looking great. Let's change the color to white because we are using this mat as a luma mat and the luma mat only reads the black and the white colors. So I'll go to around one second and 30 frames. Select the logo, hit P to bring down the position properties, create a keyframe, go back to around, let's say somewhere around 45 frames and drag the logo out just like so. Select the logo, keyframes, Hit F9, go into the graph editor and create the same curve as we did before. There we go. Let's see the animation. So yeah, that is looking pretty good. Now I think the logo is a bit too fast so I can increase the distance between the keyframe just like so. So yeah, that is looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and enhance the complete scene a bit. So I'll create a new solid. So hit control Y to create a new solid Call this V for vignette. Make this black. Hit OK. Double click on the ellipse tool to create a mask. Invert the mask and hit F to bring down the feather properties and increase the feather to around 500. And then hit T to bring down the opacity and drag this below and keep it very minimal, just like maybe around 40%. Also, you can see we have started to add some, get some color bendings right here. So to fix this, I can create a new adjustment layer called this noise and add some noise to this. Something like maybe 2% should work. Yep, there you go. So now we don't have any kind of color bendings. Also, I, I'm going to create a new adjustment layer again. Call this CC for color correction and add some curves to this. Just to punch up the colors a bit. I can switch to the blue channel and increase the blue a little bit. Just like that. And you can see before and after. Now the colors are a bit punchy. And one more last thing that you can do is add some glow onto your logo. So I can add a default glow. Increase the threshold all the way up to 100 and increase the radius to around 200. Should work good. I think it's a bit too much. So let's bring down the intensity to maybe 0.3 or something like that. 0.5. Yep, that is looking pretty great. 
and this is a really quick and easy way to create a nice and professional looking logo animation inside of After Effects using some very simple steps. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to subscribe, comment and like and I will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative.